Hello, I'm Teacher Marsha, and today I'm going to read a story called Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Marie Sendek. I wonder what this story is going to be about. It looks scary already with these monsters. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made a mischief of one kind. Look at that. I wonder what he did. And another. And there he is. He seems to be chasing his dog with the fork. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Hmm, he looks upset. Look at that. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Oh my, look at that forest. And grew, now it's complete completely covered in trees. Do you see that? And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And I see a moon now. Look at that. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and day. Look at that, now he's sailing away. And I see his name on the boat. It says Max. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. I see a scary wild thing in the water. Do you see that? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roar their terrible roars and gnash their terrible teeth and roll their terrible eyes and show their terrible claws. I do see their terrible claws and their terrible teeth. They look scary. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Now they look afraid of Max. Look at that. I made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Look, the wild things are bound to Max. He's wearing a crown. Do you see that? And now they're, they seem to be dancing. What do you think? Now they're hanging from trees. Max seems to be having a, a fun time. What do you think? Now I see Max on top of one of the wild things. They all seem to be having a fun time, don't you think? Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Look, the wild things look to be sleeping, but Max looks sad. What do you think? But the wild things cried, oh please, don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things wore their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And there he is, waving goodbye. 
and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. Look at that. Stone at home. And, and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. Who do you think left that? You're right. His mom did. And it was still hot. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a good day.